Hello people! So when you're trying to export your video, sometimes you get confused which option you should choose. So basically today I'm gonna take you through a few of the options that you can consider. Okay, before anything else, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button for this video. Thank you so much for your support and let's get started. So first up, if you're doing it as a professional kind of a job to edit videos, I suggest you just export the master file which is the default and the settings are here if you're exporting this you should be much more familiar than I do and you should choose wisely on the video codec and everything and the, the, the optimal file is gonna be huge and the end file is gonna be huge and in certain format but for everyday users I don't suggest you to export to Apple devices or Apple devices 4K or whatever or YouTube, Facebook videos because this, you know, because coming from because I'm an util because I'm a utilitarian and I want the best opera outcome that it's uh, you know at my fingertips. So I'm gonna choose at destination first. So once you come to this setting go to the export file and drag it over here and choose the format over here so you can choose for example you want to do a YouTube or a computer or Apple device you can just change it over here for example I change the computer and select H264 better quality I can change the resolution over here whichever I want to be saved only so you won't automatically open up and play sometimes it's kind of annoying you know and you can always change it over here to be web hosting as well and yeah change the resolution and everything so basically I suggest just change to you know computer and better quality and standard resolution 1080p and then once you set this you can just export your file and come here and change to 4k standard resolution and then it will become an mp4 file and it's much smaller than the previous one and it's applicable to both PC and Mac and I think it saves you a lot of trouble and I think mp4 is one of the most recognized format and it's you know, useful if you want to upload to some sites which only supports MP4 file and not MOV file. Say you have done editing your video and you think this is a very specific frame that you love and you want to make this as your say thumbnail, what you can do is just come here at destination and choose save current frame and drag it over here and then at destination again and save current frame over here and while holding command key select export file and save current frame and then right click on this and select new bundle from selection ta-da this a bundle and then how is this good is because every time when you want to export click this bundle it automatically saves the frame as well as the video and you can always change the save current frame to say JPEG image this exports the mp4 file and the thumbnail simultaneously but the thumbnail is obviously much faster to be exported so usually you can see there's a notification over here say the thumbnail is done and yep that's all you need to do. Also, if you want to export both the Apple device and the standard computer export, you can always add another export option over here and change the action to be saved only first <laughs> and then change the export format to be computer and yeah, maybe even change all the resolution and everything and while holding this just you know click this and say if you're exporting 4k just you know select apple device 4k if not just select the according resolutions 
and bundle them up and then next time when you export you can export both of the uh, format and you can even rename to be and PC and that's all you need to do very simple let's try so just come here Mac and PC and you can select the settings for 4K resolution Apple devices and then choose accordingly say better quality and stuff like that and obviously you can change the settings for your export option export file yeah 4K resolution better quality everything done and click next if you kind of regret your whatever choice you made just now you can just come back here and <laughs> Restore to default. You know, yep. Just make sure everything is back to normal. And that's the end of today's tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy this and give me a thumbs up. Appreciate this and bye bye.